Okay, so today I just want to make a video about skin detail. Um, sorry I've been away for a while, I've been pretty busy, so I haven't been able to make a new video, but uh, I figured seeing as I'm working on this new uh, 115th scale Yang Chuanosaurus, and I'm actually at the point where I'm adding skin detail, I figured today would be a good day to talk about it. So let's, uh, let's jump right in. <clears throat> One of the first... Uh, ways I ever learned to make skin detail was with uh, things called texture stamps. Um, I'm sure most of you are probably familiar with them. This is um, one that I've just made. <coughs> I better hold it back a little bit further in front of this guy so you can see. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> lots of people use these and uh, they're pretty familiar to most people and I think uh, a lot of people use them when they're starting out and they do work great. I've actually <coughs> come up with many different ways of making texture stamps. That one of course was just a, a sculpting tool pressed in uh, to make different size circles pretty much. Um, this one is a, uh, let's see if I can get it in here. I'll pull it back so you can kind of see. It's got much larger scales on it, but I've also got a handle on it, and I've got it tilted sideways so I can get like in tighter spots in between the legs and stuff like that um, to get detail in, you know. And I also sometimes press it in and uh, use it for making skin folds. That's why it's on an angle. Anyway, they work great. I really like them, but uh, I find that uh, you don't get the detail, the level of detail with them that you want sometimes. And sometimes the patterns look too uniform when you're pressing them over a whole animal. So uh, I've been looking at new ways of, of doing this kind of stuff. And uh, of course, there's a couple different ways of doing it. Some people just sculpt each uh, detail in. And of course, when you're making maybe, uh, you know, quarter scale, half scale, you know, life size. You can sculpt every skin uh, detail in every scale because it's so large. It's easy to do so with uh, you know smaller scale. You can't really do that. So there's a couple of other ways, and uh, one one way I like is uh, tools like this. Now this is a homemade rake tool. Um, it's actually called a texturing. Um, a texturing tool or and I'm gonna try and find the one. Oh, here's my original one that I actually bought so you can kind of see what I'm talking about looks just like a wire tool I'm gonna in focus in front of the dinosaur's head here so I'm actually gonna zoom out while I'm talking away from the head a little bit There we go. Okay. That way I can do some closer things. And uh, so anyway, one of the ways to make good skin detail is to take your piece of clay here and to actually run it kind of like that. I'm just doing it very basic. And unfortunately, my camera setup isn't very good. You know, and then go crossways. And, you know, that actually works really well for making like elephant skin rhino skin or good skin folds and then what you would do you're like that looks like complete crap but another cool thing you can do is to take a brush and uh, dip it in a little bit of rubbing alcohol I'll show you the bottle of alcohol here this is what I use right here let's cover up the brand I guess and you take it over top and you rub it and if you look now now of course you want to do more details and do it but basically it just rounded out all the edges and that is a great way to put your skin folds in and skin detail so I figured I'd show that way the alcohol the most amazing trick ever gets rid of all the little burrs and pieces of clay that are stuck out so always a great thing to remember 
I actually learned it a couple years ago watching a YouTube video of a guy making um, a mask, um, a lizard skin mask for a, a human, and uh, it was pretty cool. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I zoomed in the lower jaw here, it had really fine scale detail. Now, that's another technique that I'm going to show that I also learned in that uh, same video. And uh, I like to use this here. This is just a uh, plastic wrap. And then you take these little tubes. Let's see, it's just a piece of tube. And you can buy from a store brass tubes. I got all different sizes. Pick up some big ones here so you can see. And I've cut them and made, I've bent the ends so they're not round, they're not uniform. So they kind of look like scales. And what you can do is making sure your plastic wrap is on. You can press in and make sure they're tight against each other. I'm just going to do a few so you can see here. And if you pull it back, there you go. Oops, sorry. You got some nice detail. And again, I like to still rub with alcohol, you know, loosen it up, fade it a little bit, you know. And if you do that over the whole animal, which takes a long time, you know, or pick certain spots where you want more detail to show, because I think that, you know, the animals are going to have different size skin over their whole body. Here's a smaller one. This is actually the one I've been using for the uh, that lower jaw. And we'll do the same thing here. Just pressing it in. Now I'm trying to do this a little quicker. When you're actually sculpting, I just like to put on some music and Spend a lot of time doing this really slow. Make sure I get each one up against each other. There you go. You can see the nice pebble effect. And it's it's better than the texture stamps because it's not so uniform. And you can actually put it over all the different spots you want. And uh, yeah, it comes out with really nice detail. Now, of course, I would never suggest to finish like that you know you want as many you want as many bumps and you know little hornlets and things sticking out you know because you want as much detail as you possibly can get out of it <clears throat> but uh, those are a couple of basic ways that I do skin detail and uh, as always when I'm learning things I like to share it with people because I remember back when I was learning how to sculpt and well I'm always learning how to sculpt but how hard it was to find new techniques and and get new information so you know that's why I like to share it with all you guys and and then see what uh, everybody comes up with you know so anyway thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe